Well, there's no doubt that Vancouver is a foodie city. It's also a very generous city. And this month marks the 50th Vancouver Greasy Spoon fundraiser. So this raises money for a Better Life Foundation, which serves free meals to people in need in the downtown east side. And as well, it hires and mentors residents who want to work in the food industry. Well, Vanessa Waterworth is a self-proclaimed metal chef. She was born and raised in East Vancouver. She now works at Save On Meats, where that fundraiser is held. And Ash McLeod is executive director of A Better Life Foundation. Hey, welcome to you both. Hi, Gloria. I'm so glad you were able to come in. Yes, so thank tell you me, for having us. The metal chef, is that because you're inspired by metal music while you cook? It is, it is. Really? I always blast it every single day. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I love the look. How did you get into the industry, Vanessa? Um, well, I got into the industry when I was 16, and I started out as a dishwasher, you know how it goes, and then I worked myself up to uh, line cook and then finally chef. Awesome. Yeah. What's it like to work in that environment? Um, working in the downtown east side, um, it can be really heavy, but also very rewarding, especially working at Save On Meats. Okay, why? What, what's um, we do a lot for the community. Um, we have a lot of different programs for even uh, like the employees that we work with, um, but definitely what we do for the community, which is like our token sandwich um, program. Uh, also, tell, tell me how that works. So someone can buy a token in the street and then give it to someone, and then you can go to Save On. Yeah, yeah. You there. can buy the token in Save On Meats, uh -huh. and then you can pass it along to anyone in the community. I like that yeah. idea. That's awesome. Ash, let's bring you in. Tell me more sure. about the fundraiser. Yeah, well, the fundraiser is happening on April 29th. It's our 50th, as you mentioned. It's really hard to find an event that's had 50 editions in the city. So be able to sustain ourselves and have full houses for all 50 is really uh, something worth celebrating. So we are going to invite some of our favorite chefs, Vanessa being one of them, uh, to kind of bring us into her kitchen. And we're going to feed a bunch of people. We've got four courses plus a bunch of surprises of the most delicious nature. Uh, and all the proceeds go to support a Better Life Foundation, which is the charity that we run. Okay, so who goes to this fundraiser? Who are you hoping to attract? Uh, really, it's a wide spectrum of people. Uh, it first started, we again, uh, about four years ago, a little over four years ago when we first started. It was a lot of our friends from the culinary community. Uh, we've had some of the city's best chefs. The first one we did was Scott Yeager from the Pear Tree. And in 50, you can imagine, we've covered most of the city's top culinary talent. Um, and that attracted foodies, of course. Uh, but as we expand and the uh, charity itself grows a bigger social network, uh, we see a wide spectrum of, of everybody in the city. If you like food, you like community, you like a good time on a Monday night, uh, you're a good fit for us and we'll feed you well and, and you'll enjoy all the libations. Mm. Vanessa, what does it do for you, Vanessa, to be, to be part of something like this? Is, 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 is giving back to the community in such a big way? Yeah, um, it's definitely been rewarding and something that I've been working towards, you know, my whole life. Um, I remember my grandmother used to take me uh, to Chinatown. Um, we would just get little meals and things like that. And a lot of people were hungry and they would actually ask me for you know, oh, can you buy me a coffee or something like that? And I would, I always would. She would give us a little allowance, and then I would take it and use that for whoever was hungry. And um, now you're able to give yeah, back in, yeah. in your own way. Yeah. I'd love to see what you brought in here today, because I'm, I'm, my eyes are drawn to these little mini eggs. What are, what are we going to do? So uh, this is our new burger called the Fancy Boy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is our certified organic beef. Mm -hmm. um, we have our short rib mixed with caramelized onion and mushroom. And we just use these little baby quail eggs, because a full egg would be just too big for the little well, slices. Well, I know. OK, so let's, let's put one of these babies yeah, yeah. together. Should, I, should we do it in tandem? Yeah, you, sure. you do one, I'll do one. How's awesome. that? Okay, so Ash, you're okay for that? Yeah, okay. absolutely. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to judge which one's better. Right. Be <laughs> okay. So this is our black summer truffle aioli. I can smell. Mm -hmm. I can smell that truffle oil. I in love there. truffle. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, it gives such a rich. Both sides? Yes, both okay. sides, please. Of course. Okay. Generously. Gener. Okay. Big scoosh mm. of truffle mayonnaise. Love that. All right. Awesome. You do it? Okay. So then next up, we'll take the one of the beef patties With and just finger. put it on the bottom bun. Okay. And we will put some of the short rib, caramelized onion, and mushroom mix. Oh, that smells heavenly. It's delicious. That smells heavenly. Over, so short rib and burger. Yeah. This is like a double whammy, and the mushroom's in there as well. Look at that. Generous as well. I'm going, oh, you're, yeah, you're you, going to you, tell you, me you that. You can't aren't? overdo it. No, okay. You can't overdo it. I just don't want it to spill over for the camera, okay? Look at you. You've got eight going. I'm still working on one. Okay, so that's a, that's a, now, 
Where does the egg come in? Oh no, so, we got chips, something else first. Yeah, um, we actually can put the Asiago cheese on. So we'll just use one slice of that. Beautiful. And then our next step would be the little eggs right in front of me. Love it. What's your favorite? Yeah. Okay. That one? I'm going to pick up the egg too with my finger. Excellent. So we're so excited about this burger that uh, we're actually launching it on our full menu at Save On Meats. Yes. But the Greasy Spoon 50th is going to be the debut of the Fancy Boy. That is, and I love the little, I like when you set it like this and just a little pop of color mm -hmm. that the egg presents as well. Yeah. Ash, just remind us again, um, end of the month fundraiser, exactly where are those funds going to go that you're going to raise at the Greasy Spoon 50th anniversary? The 50th anniversary. Uh, every single day, each and every single day, 365 days across the calendar, uh, we provide 850 meals to women and children fleeing violence, street entrenched youth, and folks living well beyond uh, the poverty line. And uh, we do it in our community, in the downtown east side. Those meals, as I say, go out every day. They're a critical part of upward mobility and folks finding their feet in the stability. Mm. Uh, having a meal that they can count on every day is, 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 is critical to anyone's development. I think we can all relate to hunger, uh, but we can't relate it to hunger on that scale. So the proceeds uh, that we generate from this go to support our daily meal program. Fantastic. Ash, Vanessa, thank you both so much for coming in and a very happy 50th anniversary us. to thank the organization. We hope to see you there.